Hello and welcome to Japanese Garden Bristol. In this video, I'm going to show you how I catch the koi. Um, a lot of people ask me how do I transfer the koi uh, from my outdoor pond to my indoor pond. Um, I have put videos up of me doing um, transferring the fish over, but apparently I haven't watched it back yet, but um, I don't show you how I catch the fish. It, it's one of those things where um, it's one of those little things you don't know and I'll be honest with you I didn't know how to do it even though I had the net to do it um, I didn't know how to do it and I was making a mess of it for quite some time until I seen someone else do it and I thought ah oh, that's how you do it so what I'm going to do is um, show you how I catch the fish now the trouble I got here is, is the limited room of using the camera so I'm going to point the camera uh, at the pond and uh, see if I can catch the video of me catching the koi. And what I'm doing today is I'm putting the koi in a PP dip. Um, this time I'm putting the dip in the pond because last time it does stain and um, last time it got all over my walls and I had to repaint the walls so I don't want to be doing that again this year. Um, when I've done it up that end is it was better, it didn't stain anything, but it's messy. And I've got the white uh, doors there now as well, so I can't get any stains on them. So what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to catch the koi. And, uh, and I think I'll explain a bit more about the PP dip as well. Okay, so the PP dip, I'll take over and show you in a moment. It's um, one gram per 10 liters, um, for, and you dip the fish for seven minutes, okay? And that's gotta be strict rules as well because it can be dangerous stuff, it can kill your fish if you leave them there too long, and it would also stress your fish out quite a bit. So you've gotta keep it, and I find that seven minutes is uh, quite a good time before they start getting stressed. So I'm going to go a little bit before, five minutes and we start flapping around a bit, so I get some out. I do it every year, I, when I put them indoors, I dip them, when I bring them back out next spring, I dip them again. So, let's give that a go. I'll try to set the camera so you can see me catching the koi, and then um, putting them in for a bit. And then I'll, I'll try to video, I'll video up there of me putting them back in the pond if I can. It's very difficult with the camera, but you know, I just got my phone and um, it's difficult to get it in the right position to, to film it. So, um, let's give it a go. Okay, so what you should always do is wet the net first. This is a sock net. They go in one end and come out the other. It's a really good way of moving fish around. Less stress and safer. Okay, so that's nice and wet. Can I get my big I get my big um, net as well. But the big net is gonna catch and what I'm gonna do is try to catch one of the smaller fish because um, <laughs> they uh, might not fight against me as bad. Doing it with a small fish, maybe later. That fish is there. So what you do, there's the net, there's the end. You put the end with your handle like that. So when you scoop the fish in, like that, it's in there, okay? And then when you let it go, you let it go at the other end. Like that. Very easy technique. Um, it's really good with the big fish because they go they go in your head first and then they come out head first out that way and it's more um, less stressful for them. Okay, so that's how I catch them and let them go. I'll see you in a minute when I'm going to put them into the dip. Okay, 
gonna do here is I'll time everyone seven minutes. I've got me spare eye thing there. Um, so what I do is once I put the fish into the dip, I will set the timer for seven minutes. Okay, so I can't do it. Okay, so this is the indoor pond. This is where we're gonna go. In the week, I filled it probably about three quarters of the pond water they're in now, and a quarter of fresh water going in there. Just going through the decorator and all the other things. Under here, if I can get, there we go there, is where it's flowing through from the filters. My filters are under there if you see me other videos. I'm not gonna go getting all that out now. Um, concentrate on getting the fish in. Okay, so this is the PP I use. I'll weigh it out there. I put 70 liters in that tub out there. So that's uh, one gram per 10 liters. So that was seven grams of PP potassium into the tub out there. And make sure you get it right guys, because uh, this stuff can be quite lethal. While I'm waiting for the fish in there, um, for seven minutes, I've got a couple of minutes left. I'll give you a little tour of my pond. As you can see, it's getting very messy. The leaves are dropping in it. Not very good quality water, because the leaves are changing the color of it. Um, that acer up there has not stopped yet pulling the leaves. Um, and I got this cork, hazel corkscrew here. It's got to top his leaves yet as well, so it's gonna get really messy. I'm taking the water down to that level there, as you can see, so it's easier for me to catch the fish, because what they tend to do is go up in the shallows here, and it makes it harder for me. So by keeping them in that area, easier and less stressful for them for me to catch them. Um, that plaque over there, I've sold that plaque. I'll be sending that off soon. Um, that uh, area over there, which is my bog filter, um, taking that away now and not having it. I'm gonna be putting sort of a plant pot there or something, an acer or something like that. And uh, next spring I'm gonna be renewing all the uh, coping stones around the top of here. They all need replacing. I've got a new design in my head. So I'll, I'll be doing that hopefully next spring. Um, other than that, it should be pretty much the same next spring. Okay, so I've got a good system going here. I'll catch them in a big net. Then I put them in the sock net. I got a smaller net for the smaller fish. And I got a water here to inspect them and measure them. Then they go in the PP. Always make sure that when you do the PP, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but um, you must make sure you've got good air going in there. A lot of air going in, so it takes the oxygen away. There's one in there now. Moving around, but he's not getting stressed at the moment. I have one go stressed so far. I took him out, but the rest been good. I'm slowing up the waterfalls now. Um, it's getting a bit muggy in there. So I've got a few in there now. I'm gonna video uh, putting a big one in now. Um, just in the dip at the moment. I'll move the camera down. Let's see. Let's see nothing enough. The 
looking good. Okay, so this is one of my bigger fish. These, let me see if I can get them in the camera. He's about 26 inches long. Gotta let them out of the sock neck very slowly and careful because we don't want the sock to burn their nose, their face. Okay, so he's in there nice and stress free. Okay, so that's the Koi Inn on the 7th of November. Uh, they're all in there, seems happy. I've turned the air off so you can see them better in a minute. Um, yeah, it went really well. I started at 9, and I finished about 1 o'clock, so I had lunch as well. It wasn't too bad. It takes the time when you've got to do the PP, uh, 7 minutes for each fish. And the very small ones are about eight inch. I put, I got seven of them. Put them all in in one go, in, in a net, and then pull them back out. Um, so yeah, so that's how I use my sock neck. Sorry, my sock net. <laughs> and uh, that's how I do the PP. And I'll be like I said before, I'll be doing it again in the spring when they go back into the pond. I'll go and show you my pond now at the moment, it's a mess. Um, that's why I like putting them in the air for the winter. Um, the water stays a good quality all, all winter as well in there. Okay, so um, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe if you haven't and uh, keep watching my videos. Um, there's more to come. Um, I'll see you next time, thanks for watching.